everyone and welcome back to Bob's Pet Farm. Today with an episode from the future, so to say. This is episode number nine. However, I'm recording that uh, pretty, you know, um, close in time. And this is uh, for a reason. I always left this episode open uh, simply to have some mods in here. So as you can see, this is uh, also called the uh, barn or the um, farm modification episode. And, you know, I've had the mods installed for a while, but there were some things um, I needed to make sure, first of all, uh, before I use them, making sure that the game doesn't crash and all these kind of things. Um, and yeah, now we are in and we have some beautiful mods. Some of the best mods, actually, I've found uh, in the Planet Zoo modding community so far. And uh, they do also fit a lot better, obviously, to a farm. So we do have some goats, we have some cows, we have actually pigs and so on. And today we're going to have a look at the animals I bring in. There will be some more in the final episode, uh, which is the only one I haven't pre-recorded recorded as well. Um, so from episode 10 on it's it's gonna go all back into the pre-recorded stuff and episode 12 and the tour will be a bit more current as well. So there you can see one goat uh, moving down here from the stone. So we do have the goats in here because I just thought they fit very well in this more like hilly area with the wines um, and um, it's, it's kind of cool, I, I you know, I put these uh, walls, the mural walls just in because they can jump pretty high. But oh my god, look at that, this looks so cool. The goat just moving up here, having the pea fowls around. I think that's pretty damn cool. Oh, well, yeah, the, the vet has a, a different idea. And yeah, moving around here, we have the Holstein cow. I really do hope we'll get to see a normal cow mod as well. I want to see the domestic um, cow as well. This is the Holstein one, uh, which is a bit different. Um, I think the model still looks fairly dope. Uh, we do also have another model over here of a uh, more like brownish one. Uh, even though I'm a very big fan of the normal cow one, the uh, the white black uh, pattern. But yeah, you can see it's looking really cool how they move through the fields and so on. Um, they actually do share their habitat with the artworks at the moment. It won't stay that way. Uh, they will actually have another habitat in the end, um, which again is all built already. But I just put them in here so you don't see too many spoilers for the next episodes. Actually, I like how they move over here. Do they made as well now? No, not really, but yeah, that looks really cool. Again, I'm a big fan of this model, to be honest, but this one looks cool as well. Now, let's move on. We have uh, even more animals uh, to showcase today. There is another one in here, and that is the alpaca. Let's have a little look at our friend, the alpaca. My god, someone escaped. Um, <laughs> I didn't pay attention though to, to escaping animals. So this is the alpaca. I love this mod as well. Um, it's together with the llama, and they will definitely stay here as well. Having some alpacas in here and llamas is uh, really cool. Um, you know, the same kind of species um, and, you know, they, they just share the habitat. I think it's a very cool idea to have them here and I, I definitely like that. Let's go over to the next animal and that is the sheep. This is the merino sheep in here and look at these fluffy, these fluffy animals. I love them and I think they fit very well in here. I'm actually, I'm actually hoping for some babies. Uh, actually, let me just quickly check. Did I disable that? I think at some point I did disable this. Uh, no, it's, it's still in there. Okay, so um, we can actually speed up the time then and uh, hope that they'll get some babies. Animal has escaped. Which one has escaped though? Um, oh, the artwork. Oh, it's a baby artwork which can fit. Oh, well, that's that's a problem, but I'm not gonna take care of that one right now. Um, we are just first of all looking into the sheeps. I want to see some baby sheeps at some point. Is there already someone pregnant? I left them in already. No, that's that's not. This is not. This is not. No, 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 no one is pregnant over here. Oh, that's, that's a pity. Anyways, we do have some uh, pigs over here. Look at that. Look at the white pig. This is so cool. I think they just fit in so beautifully. And I love the model as well. Um, it's one of these animals which does not really have a fur shader. Because, well, they don't have any fur. Um, but the cool bit is actually they fit so well in. Because they have the same animations, obviously, at the warthog. But um, since they're all pigs, um, th it just looks really cool. And I'm... I'm a huge fan of this. I'm a huge, huge fan of this mod. Um, it is so, I don't know, it's so generic, it's so basic, but it's looking so cool. And actually being dirty uh, from the mud bath looks so cool on these pink, white-ish uh, pigs. It looks a lot better than on the fur of uh, the warthogs because it just, you know, it, you just see it a lot better. Um, so that's the 
that's the idea and oh my god it just looks so much cooler now to have these animals on a farm and we definitely do um go for some more in the future as well you can see some 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 stuff over here actually let's have a little look before we look at the other animals this is all the blueprint stuff i was using um this is for the apple trees and i know they do look different but i went for a a different appeal of them i i just like the appeal we went for a lot more um I ch you know, I use some pieces here to test, uh, a wall test and all these kinds of things. This is usually what I do do the most, um, testing some things and then just um, moving this stuff away. Uh, I think you always... Um Oh, the interior isn't done in this this save. Okay. Well, I've, I've you know I've, I've done the interior later on, um, but it's not done yet. Okay. Well, then let's move on. Here you can see the blueprint for uh, the corn. And people were asking me why I was not using the bananas because that's way easier. Yeah, but they. Uh, let me just. You know what? We, we do have the time. Let's. Oh, look at that. The sheep is expecting offspring. That's what we needed. Okay. Cool. Um, but let me just quickly show you why I wasn't using them. Um, banana. There you go. They are just too big. They were just too big for me. I mean, I could have just, you know, rotated them this way. Um, but they were just like this tiny bit. Um, oh, the pig is mating as well. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to see some babies. That's awesome. Um, they were just too big. So I was just using the smaller ones. Um, and there's one more animal I put in here. And that's also one of my favorite ed additions. And that is the... I'm not sure if that's the, no, that's just the baby. Um, now this is a bit complicated because we do have different ones. There you go. This is now, let me just pause the game. Also Nick made this mod, really cool stuff. Um, I do include the links to the mods uh, on Nexus mod so you can see who made them and you know, um, so that you can see where the credit deserves. And this is a North American river otter and that's pretty cool. Let me just see if there is a normal giant otter around so I can show you the differences. Where are my friends, the giant otters? Hello, where are you? Let me just have a little glimpse. Are they all in the water? Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da nope. Oh, they're all over here. Oh, wait, we don't even need to wait. They are just by... <laughs> I love this big fish over here. Um, so you can actually see the differences in here. So that is a North American river otter and that is a giant otter. So you can see the differences in size. They are pretty significant. Um, and you can see the difference in the model as well. Um, there's also some kind of oops, uh, uh, very noticeable difference. So what you can see over here, the tail is pretty much a different one. Uh, the face looks obviously a lot cuter on this one, while it's a bit more derpy on that one. Um, you can also see a huge difference in uh, how, how big and long the tail is and, and the shaping of it. And also you can see that the, um, the feet, well, let me just show you over here. Um, they are a lot different on this one because they're like shorter and having a bit more like these swimming... Uh, skin in between so that's kind of cool and uh, I really do like I mean this has a skin as well It's just larger um, but mostly the differences go to the head portion of well uh, as well So that makes a lot of a lot of sense. Look at that. The cow is also mating. You are dancing wiggling wiggle 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 um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we have all these mods in here. You've seen most of them obviously from the screenshot as well. The only thing, you know, the only thing I still hope is, I mean, if you look, if you look at the size of, I think that's a giant otter baby. I haven't seen a North American river otter baby, but I assume they're even smaller than those fellows over here. So one thing I really do hope, and I don't know if Frontier is going to pitch that or if we can see a mod on that. I have no idea if that's moddable or not, um, but I would love to see these animals having like if you go to the I'm just gonna show you the deep water over here you can see the navigatable swimmable area is with 696 square meters exactly the same as the one for the giant otter which should not be the same because this animal is like only half the size and should be able to dive even more in you know in relation this is because the game calculates there are always these four meters as um, required um, deep water area and this is like a little bit of a pity because if you were meant to make a four meter deep water for the giant otter that looks pretty okay because the animal is quite big and it's it's fine but if you do make this for our friend here the north american river otter that's like humongous this is insanely big let me just show you let me just show you this real quick we, we do have the time okay i'm gonna show you because it is really really significant um to showcase that let me just uh, no, we're going to go for a color version. Ah, uh, okay, uh, uh, I haven't played for a long time, so um, this is this is where the plaster wall comes in handy. Now let's make that more pinkish in here. Apply, 
go away you are annoying me there you go now we can make that really pinkish and now we are going to make this four meter box for you so you can actually see no that was really even wrong um and let me also have the roof portion in here as well there you go one deeper and there you go so this is basically what you would need to have at least a safe space for them to swim now <laughs> If we do put that in here, just as a reference, so this is the minimum required space to make them really swim. And you can see, look at look at this, look at this humongous space available. As soon as you put some flowers and stuff in here, they would not even be able to swim. So what you would need to do is build everything around, and that has to be the blank space in the middle. And that is pretty huge. You would only see them swim in that area. So yeah, that's kind of a little bit, a bit of a pity. But I really hope that they're going to fix that a little bit to maybe make that for smaller animals the requirement less. Um, I do understand this, you know, if we go for penguins and for the uh, seals and everything else that comes in the future with a uh, similar size. Oh my god, what a jump. Um, this is this is definitely something that I uh, understand, and which is fine, because these animals are so large, it makes sense to give them huge swimble areas, but not for the small ones. Um, now, let's have a look if we get some babies to see. I don't know who got the babies first, but we are going to have a look if there are some baby cows around. Not yet, it seems. There's still odd walks escaping, I guess, but that's not too big of a deal. Do we have some baby goats already? What's going on in here? No, that's just a burp. Uh, no baby goats, no baby goats, baby goat, bo 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 bo. no, 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 no. I think the first ones were the sheeps to mate. Sheep, sheep, sheep. There are no sheep around. Pig, maybe pigs. We've got some baby pigs over here. Is there like a baby, baby pig? Not really though. Okay, let me just have a look. We, we got some alpacas about to mate. Okay, but there's none. None of them is yet. Let me just check the animal. Uh, maturity. There you go. We've got the doll sheep, the llama. Look at some. Oh, these are all the ones that I had already. Sorry, that's that's my mistake. I made some babies already for later. Um, so we have a common one, the doll sheep. There's not a really a new one, right? No, 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 not yet. Ray. Okay, these are all the ones that I saved already, and these were already. Okay, I'm gonna speed up, and I will um, come back to you guys as soon as we have the babies. All right, there we are back, and now we have all the babies available. Let's just have a little look at them. Oh my God, he took the he he took all the stuff with him. Um, there you go. We've got some baby pigs. They are a little bit more darkish. Um, I honestly have no idea if it's the way it is. I think it is, but something about the eyes. Uh, I don't know. There is are there <laughs> are there no eyes? It looks a little bit scary. Um, but other than that, this model looks pretty cool. Are there more babies? Yeah. You, wait, why they're all taking the mud with them? I mean, it's kind of funny, but there is not a not a mud bath over here. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's move over. I'm not sure if we have alpaca babies yet. Uh, oh, that looks like looks like an alpaca baby. No, that's a llama baby. That's a llama baby. It's not an alpaca baby. Anyways, there are more to look at, and this is the cows. Look at that. We have a cow baby over here. A little lovely cow. Or oh, is it is it actually called cow even more? Uh, you, um, ah. How do you call? I mean, in German I knew, but um, I have no idea uh, how this is called in English. Um, there's a special name for cow babies. It's not cow baby though, but um, you will tell me in the comments. I'm quite sure about that. Okay, so this is Freya. Freya has been born here as our first baby cow. And if we go further, we even have some baby goats and they look absolutely adorable. Look at them, how cute. Look at them. They're so cute. They are so cute. That's a fantastic, oh my god, that's a fantastic model. I love that model, it's so cool. So good, so good. This is, oh my god, Willoughby, Willoughby. Uh, did we miss out on anyone? Uh, do we have other babies as well? I have no idea if we have uh, other babies. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Where's the gate? There is the gate, let's have a little look. And we go for the North American order. No, there's no baby in here yet. Okay, well, that's that's not that's not too big of a deal. Um, and we've also the sheep babies, look at them. They are so cool because they're like so white and like way more white not as dirty they're not as dirty as their parents are um and they're like really sheepish you know that's a little, lovely little sheep that's so cool this, this is uh benaim benaim um and this one is just stop for a second okay look at how fuzzy it is and furry and i love it this is so cool also this 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 one does work with the eyes 
I love uh, this model is really cool. Like also with the fluffy ears and yeah, 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 yeah. I I buy that. I buy that. Very cool stuff, guys. I am really happy about these mods and they make the farm look a lot more like a farm, doesn't it? Um, I'm a big fan. I hope you guys are too. And now, if you guys do know a mod that you would think fits in here very well, please let me know. Um, I will potentially put it in. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode of uh, quickly giving you the mod update or the modification of the farm and yeah we see each other in the next one and i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below what you think so far of the series and uh, yeah have a good time stay safe everyone and goodbye